So we've looked at all the emblems of heroism gear in the last video, which hopefully you saw. We looked at the beautiful mount that you can get. We looked at all of the heirloom gear that you can get, including all the prices. And we looked at the actual items you can spend the currency on their self. Today, we're going to have a look at all the emblems of Valor gear. I don't predict this video will be too long because there isn't as much emblem of Valor gear to talk about as there was for emblems of heroism. So let's start. Well, like and subscribe. You're probably going to like this already because we're talking about items. Everyone loves talking about items. So just hit like and then we'll get into it. So first of all, what's worth noting about the Emblem of Valor vendor is all of these items are 213 eye level. So this is the item level of Nax 25 as long as it's not KT loot, for example. But first of all, you can get 213 rings. So for 25 Emblems of Valor, you can get Band of Channeled Magic, which is Stamina, Intellect, Spirit, Haste and Spell Power. You can get Renewal of Life with Crit, Spell Power and MP5 and of course comes with Stamina and Intellect. The Tankin Ring with 84 Stamina and 38 Strength, which has got Defense, Hit and expertise this is a particularly good threat ring but also with lots of survivability the stamina lots of it and finally ring of invincibility which has got agility stamina crit haste and attack power which most attack power users are probably going to try and get hold of pretty early you can also get a nice cloak also very cheap only 25 emblems so you can get Cloak of Key Feathers, which is Haste, Spell Power, and Mana per 5 with Stamina and Intellect. You can get a Haste and Spell Power Cloak with Spirit, Stamina, and Intellect. Hammerhead Shark Skin Cloak with Crit, Haste, and Attack Power, 28 Agility, 61 Stamina. And again, a very nice Tank Cloak with Strength, Stamina, Defense, Dodge, and Hit. Not much really to say about the cloaks. They're nice. If you've got 25 badges spare, get an upgrade. I talk about these braces in particular quite a lot, mainly because they're 60 emblems of valor and they're a great way to spend your emblems of valor if you don't need any gear. Because like you'll notice on the tooltip, they are BOE. But they're not only BOE, they're 213 eye level as well. So 25 man raids in tier 7 that you can buy and sell on the auction house. First of all, you've got the arm guard of the tower archer, which is your agility based mal user, which has got hit, haste, attack power, int, agility and stamina. Bands of the great tree with spell power and mana per 5. Five. these are leather some plate braces with defense parry hit big amounts of stamina and strength some spell power mana per five haste cloth braces resto shaman or technically holy paladin but they are male so more aimed at your resto shaman with mana per five spell power and haste some cloth hit and spell power braces with spirit on some plate crit and expertise braces some nice leather braces with haste attack power and armor pen and finally some holy paladin braces which are plate with haste spell power and mana per five now these these braces on their own are pretty good, but do you really need to spend 60 emblems on them when you're going to probably get, for most classes, something better or equal from Nax 25? So it might not be worth wasting the 60 emblems to use them yourself. Might be better keeping them or buying other things for now. And then when you are up to 60 emblems and you don't need any more loot from the vendor, buying them to sell on the auction house. Just my advice. Then for 40 emblems, you can get boots. So you've got crit, hit, strength stamina plate boots so dps plate boots boots of captain ellis which are leather with crit haste and attack power agility and stamina some plate tanking boots with strength stamina defense dodge and parry very nice mitigation boots some mal boots with hit attack power and armor pen with obviously agility stamina and intellect because they're for the mal based attack power users leather boots with spell power and mana per five stamina int and spirit shame that mana per five weren't haste and it'd be lovely for a resto druid your holy paladin boots with haste spell power and mana per five cloth boots with haste spell power and a big amount of spirit malcaster boots with crit spell power and mana per five and finally some cloth boots with hit and spell power with spirit on as well all of these boots are actually very well itemized i mean like yes as a resto druid maybe you wouldn't use the leather boots you'd use the cloth boots instead because they got haste on but you get what i mean there's a pair of boots on here for everyone so if you've struggled getting a pair of boots you've been unlucky are these worth the 40 emblems I'd probably say yes. And the two biggest ones is obviously for 60 emblems of heroism, every class can get their tier 7.5 shoulders. So this is the 25 man version of your tier 7 shoulders. So they're 213 eye level. And for 75, you can get the legs as well. So between the emblem of heroism and the emblems of valor, you can actually get your four set tier without ever stepping foot in a raid because you get the gloves and the chest from heroism and you get the shoulders and the legs from emblems of valor. Just a really good way to gear alts up where you're not taking gear from mains in raids. You can use your emblems of valor that you've got in the raids to buy them afterwards. Quite cool. And then finally, you can get all your PvP gear. So now this time when we looked at emblems of heroism, it was the blue set. Instead, now for 45 emblems of valor, you can get hateful. That would be for the chest. 
For 30 emblems of valor, you can get the gloves. For 45 valor, you can get the head. For 45, you can get the legs. And for 30, you can get the shoulders. So using your emblems of valor, if you're a PvPer and you've been doing your daily heroic every day, maybe the odd knacks, stuff like that, a great way to be able to actually get your PvP gear quite quickly and not feeling that painful, really. But all in all, that's every item that you can spend your emblems of valor on in phase one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know it weren't that long, but there's not that much to talk about. So if you enjoyed it, click like if you haven't already. So don't click it again because then you'll unlike. That's not good. Dislike. Unlike? Well, no, you're unliking. Dislike would be the button next to it, which I really hope you didn't press. You've done it now, haven't you? Subscribe to the channel, check out Rested XP in the pinned comment and in the description, and roll the outro. There's lots of ways you can support the channel to keep me here putting out World of Warcraft content and covering all future MMOs. Consider joining the channel as a member. You get access to emotes, everyone will know you're a member when you comment on future videos because you get a nice icon next to your name, and you get access to members-only videos, which I'll be putting a lot of on the channel throughout the year. Additionally, there's a Patreon link in the description as well. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I'll see you on the next one.